how's everyone doing? I just got an awesome tastic mail day. I was just got one package. I was like, all right, I'll just put this stuff away. And then the doorbell rang and I got some more stuff. I was like, you know what? This is kind of uh, some eclectic mix of stuff. I should do a video for this. So that's what I'm doing. And if you have tried or seen anything in this video, uh, movie or beer wise, let me know what you think of them. And let me know what your favorite pickup from this random mail day is. Leave me a comment down below, but let's go ahead and get into it. First up, I'm gonna go ahead and show you. I got a, um, I've got the poster for a while, but I just got the frame for it. And I, it's a snap frame. And basically you put the poster in front ways and then you snap each side in. And uh, you, then you drill the holes in the wall. There's no wire hang. That's my only uh, criticism is I wish there was a wire hang on the back instead of uh, drilling the holes in the wall. Uh, but here we go. It's my poster for 30 Days of Night. And I actually ended up getting two posters of this, so I might, I don't know if I'll trade or sell the other poster. It's the standard um, theatrical release poster, but signed up by the same people. But I prefer this artwork because the standard theatrical poster is just this screaming vampire right there. And it's just the blood red. And I, I don't really care for that design personally. I love this one with the cast and you can see the vampires in the background. Absolutely love this one. Ben Foster was phenomenal as um, the stranger character. I think he's a very underrated actor, deserves more uh, lead roles. And uh, But the only thing I don't like about this one is where it says on DVD, Blu-ray, high def, and PSP. I could do without that, but the rest, I love this look to the poster better. I sent this in to get signed. They're doing um, in-store signing for the vinyl release, which you had to buy the vinyl release, which I, I bought that too. Um, and it's uh, signed up by uh, David Slade, the director, uh, Stephen Niles, uh, the creator, and then you've got uh, I think it's Brian Rizel, I, I believe. He was the composer. Um, I don't know if it says on here. I didn't really... Uh, somewhere on here, it, it might be. Uh, and then you also have... Oh, yeah, Brian Ritzel. Uh, there you go. And then you also have um, the actress who played Iris. Uh, I believe her name is Megan Frannick, I, I believe. But it's the she was the vampire who was... Um, I guess the, the lover of the lead vampire, Marlo, uh, and she gets burned up by the UV rays. I assume that's why, you know, her face is all burned up. That's why she draws this little face in every one of her uh, signings. So uh, she did that for the vinyl one and the other poster too. Uh, but I just like the look of this one. It's one of my all-time favorite movies. Uh, one of my all-time favorite vampire movies, horror movies. Absolutely love it. I love snowy setting movies, especially in horror movies. And uh, again, just amazing. 30 Days of Night in... Um, uh, Barlow, Alaska, and Josh Hart and Melissa George. I love the supporting cast in here, the vampires, the creepiness of them. They have their own language, um, just the grittiness of it. And I love how the blood pops on the white snow. Um, but I love the look to this poster better. Let me know what you guys think of it. Hopefully it's coming out good on this angle. I'm using my iPhone to film. But again, the snap frame is like this. It snaps up, and then there's the holes that you can drill into the wall. And then you just slide it back down like that. And it snaps into place. So I, I love the design. I just wish there was a wire hang. That's the only thing. And I might put the UV. There's two sleeves on here. This is like the clear, more vivid one. But I might put the UV one on there to protect the autographs. And there's also less of a glare on the UV one. This, I feel like, has a, a ton of glare. I'm just trying to take a picture of it. And it's like impossible to take a picture of it. But uh, yeah, there we go. There is the framed poster. So really, I, I'm not sure. I think I did show a, uh, in a video once, but I couldn't. I fully show it because it was rolled up the poster uh, but I have shown the poster before for it actually but just never fully like this so this is more just getting the frame the snap frame which you can get on uh, Amazon which is where I got it from so I think that looks pretty freaking awesome I gotta find a place to put it um, in the house but I love it there's the autographs so I'm uh, definitely happy on that one, and uh, I will show you what else I, I got today. And here we go. First up, I'll show you the, the beer. Uh, I got Scorpion Bowl IPA from Stone Brewery. This is a uh, package from Stone Brewery, my favorite brewery out there. Levitation Ale was my favorite. Good session beer. Um, I believe they uh, discontinued it. I think there's so many ones that they discontinued, brought back, and then like changed the name, like Double you know, and stuff like that. But uh, this is the, uh, I love IPA, it's my favorite, but Scorpion Bowl IPA, a punch to the stinger. And I always love the write-ups. Like uh, Arrogant Bastard was the first one I ever tried. And I always put like an interesting write-up right there on the pack. So 
yeah, I, I dig it. Um, I love what they do. Uh, I know they've opened up other breweries, but uh, from uh, Escondido, uh, San Diego County, California. And then we also have the Stone Totalitarian Imperial Russian Stout. And this is 10.6 ABV. And um, the Scorpion Bowl IPA is 7.5 ABV. And these are uh, big boys right here. The one, uh, one pint, six fluid ounces. And here they also uh, sent in this uh, Natista Stone Totalitarian Imperial Russian Stout. Uh, so it's like a uh, kind of like a nut butter, authentic stone ground, yeah, authentic stone ground nut butter. This is eight ounces, little container right there. It's a collaboration between Natista and Stone Brewery. And um, I opened this up and smelled it, and it's just really, it smells like a Folgers. Folgers coffee is what it is. Uh, what I uh, initially thought of. Let's see if I can uh, open this up one-handed. Yeah, here we go. So it kind of looks like a gritty Nutella-esque substance right there, but uh, yeah, it just smells really strong of uh, like coffee. That's the main thing that I get, which uh, you know, inspired by the Stone Totalitarian Imperial Russian Stout. So I think that's cool when they do any kind of a. Uh, Oh yeah, it smells like coffee big time. Any kind of collaboration like that. They've done collaborations with a bunch of other companies before. So pretty cool. And if you like coffee and, you know, peanut butter, Nutella-esque uh, nut butter spreads, you'll probably like uh, this totalian, a totalitarian Natista Imperial Russian Stout collaboration from Stone. It's pretty cool. And then I did get some movies. Uh, I got some movies and I'll show you that. Um, all 4K Ultra HD. We've got the Best Buy exclusive steelbook for Saving Private Ryan. This is the 4K Ultra HD one. Uh, these are all from Paramount. Um, I actually do have the standard 4K edition for it too that came out, and it is amazing. Uh, it doesn't. It like maintains that you know initial integrity and grittiness and dirtiness of like the war film that is Saving Private Ryan, which is. For me, one of the greatest war movies ever. Love the cast in here, the leads, the supporting cast. Uh, I love like the ammo um, can design right there. They've used this design for Saving Private Ryan steelbooks in the past, like the Blu-ray one. Uh, but this is uh, Best Buy exclusive. Uh, love the heck out of this 4K release, the movie. So really wanted to pick up uh, the steelbook for it. Glad that I could. A lot of times the Best Buy exclusive steelbooks um, go out of print. People try to jack up the money for it. But... Um, Definitely pleased. And then two other classics right here. Paramount is killing it in the 4K Ultra HD game. Braveheart and Gladiator. And then the HDR too. I know a lot of people are still skeptical about 4K. It's staying around. Their sales are doing well. And it is amazing. Some of the titles are just breathtaking. Um, the one that really drew me in was The Shallows. I watched the Blu-ray of it first, the 1080p. And then I watched the 4K. And the clarity was phenomenal. HDR is a big selling point. Um, so yeah, I, if you want the best quality for your films, 4K Ultra HD is it. It's here to stay. It's not a gimmick. Uh, amazing. Uh, again, I can't wait to check out. I haven't checked these ones out yet, but I have because I picked up uh, the 4K one already previously for Saving Private Ryan, the standard one, and that was mind-blowing. Amazing. Um, so yeah, suit on uh, all of these pickups today. The beer, uh, the, the nut butter. <laughs> Um, tree to try out. I'll probably do uh, reviews for everything in here and then uh, the poster. Well, the poster is not new, but the frame is. Uh, I gotta get some more frames for other posters. I'll probably do a poster video sometime soon because I do have a bunch of posters. Hopefully, the glare isn't too bad on that. But uh, let me know what you think of this poster design uh, as compared to the theatrical one with just the screaming vampire. Personally, I love this one better because there's the cast, the vampires in the background. Um, I just don't wish it, uh, or didn't wish that it had the, the DVD, Blu-ray, high-def, PSP part. That's the only detraction. But pretty awesome. So there you go. Let me know what you think of everything. All the, the goodies right there. Whoop. There it is. Um, which was your favorite of uh, all the stuff? The, the poster, you uh, include the poster as part of it, but the frame. Um, the, the beers, the nut butter. Uh, I was surprised by the nut butter. I wasn't expecting that. And then uh, the movies, too. Uh, let me know if you've seen the movies, if you tried the beer, if you have seen 30 Days of Night, what you think of it. Let me know. Let me know what your favorite vampire movie is. Let me know what your favorite war movie is. Uh, these are some all-time great classic 
films right here. All of them are just, for me, uh, some of my uh, favorites of for non-horror. Horror is my favorite genre, but I love all genres of, of film. But these are being some of my top lists for sure. Um, classics right there. But let me know what you think of everything and what was your favorite from all of these. Leave me a comment or video response down below. Hope everyone's doing well. Take care. And hope you guys like this random video. Like I said, um, the beer came first. I was like, ah, all right, I'll put that away. I'll do some reviews and stuff in the future. Um, and then, like, the movies came, and I was like, okay, cool. Maybe I'll do a video. And then the poster frame came. I was like, let me put this in there first. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to do a video showing all this stuff because it was kind of a cool, random mixture of stuff, eclectic mix. Uh, I figured I would share it with you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> Again, take care.